Welcome to today's video. Today's video we're going to be talking about defensive depth charts, what we like to look for in our nickel strong defense. All right, guys, for our nickel strong defense, uh, the personnel consists of four defensive linemen, two linebackers, one um, or two corners, one free safety, and two strong safeties. The second string strong safety, if I remember correct, is the deep safety, and then your first string strong safety is the underneath, if I remember all that correct. So what I want to accomplish uh, with uh, my depth chart is I want to make some, obviously I want to make sure I got the right guys in the right situations. Well, a package that is in the um, that is in the nickel strong is the 4 DNs package. So I like to set up a 4 DNs package with my depth chart. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to take out my outside linebackers here at the outside linebacker. I'm going to substitute in middle linebackers here uh, just for future scheming. So for example, uh, the right end, which is the left side of the screen, is my strong side. So I'm going to put my weakest guys on the strong side to give me the balance. So I'm going to put guys like um, I'm going to put guys like uh, Detone Jones, who has good speed, good strength, but not great at either. I'm going to put him at a second string in case I want to use him. Um, and then another guy that I'm going to put over here is, uh, as we're looking through, and, and I like to go I like to go into the ratings, and the main thing that I look for is finesse moves, power moves, and block shed. If you can do any of those really good, you can play on my field. Uh, so as you see here, Nate Palmer... Has really good power move or really good finesse moves. Um, Mike Neal has really good uh, power moves. Uh, Worthy has really good power moves. Nick Perry has really good moves. Raji has really good moves. Uh, another thing that I noticed too, though, is that Nate Palmer's a linebacker, so he could play coverage. So I like to put guys like that in my package. So I'm going to start Nate Palmer. You again, not great strength wise, but for the Nick or Strong, he's on our weak side. Or he's on our strong side, so that's going to make it our strength, in essence. So that's what I like to do there. Um, and then if I want to come out in more of a basic package, I can RB sub in at nickel wide nine or nickel strong. And it gets the same personnel on the field. Um, the only, you'll just have to RB sub in your safeties and stuff like that. But I really like using that 4 Dns package. And then so for my weak side, I want to put my two strongest guys there. So for the Packers, that's Clay Matthews and that's Nick Perry. And so that's how I set that 4 DNs package up. The third guy really doesn't matter. It's just whoever you want to put there. For me, I like to put Mike Neal there. I think he's the uh, best backup out of them all. And then a defensive tackle, I like to set this up for my nickel normal package. Um, basically, I just look for strength and block shedding. Um, pretty much, I try to get the strongest guys in there and the best block shedders. Uh, here you see, according to the ratings, BJ Raji has really good strength. Uh, but as you'll see here, his block shedding is not quite as good as Boyd. But I really like that strength that he brings. And another thing that he brings over Boyd is explosiveness in the pass rushing game. You see 85 power moves there. So I really like Bar Raji over Boyd, even though I used to like Boyd over Raji. So now, moving on to the left outside linebacker position. And this position is not used in the nickel strong. So I like to just substitute a no-name that I'll never play in. And uh, for me, that's going to be... Um, uh, we'll just use um, we'll just use uh, Andy Malumba. Really doesn't have anything to bring to the table. Um, but then at second string, I like to sub in Clay Matthews because this is a guy that's going to be playing on special teams, the second string linebacker. And then third linebacker uh, really doesn't matter. But if Clay Matthews gets hurt for special teams, uh, then I want to have a, a a backup option for the special teams unit. So I like to look at hip power. And I'm going to pick the fourth best guy at hip power. So we have 95, 86, 84, that's 3, 87. So I want to put the 84 guy in. So that's A.J. Hawk in this example. So there you see how that works. Um, moving on to the middle linebacker. This is the linebacker that is going to be on the right side of the screen. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is going to be your linebacker that's going to be blitzing a lot of times. So I like to put a really good blitzer there. So for the Packers, uh, I really like to put in this guy here, Sam Barrington. Uh, he has really good skill set. As you can see, he has really good tackling. Hit power is really good. And you see his power moves aren't too bad. His block shedding is really good. So that's why I like to put him there because he's going to be on the weak side, but he's going to be forced to make a lot of good plays, a lot of good block sheds. And you see who else are you going to put there? Gonna, Clay Matthews is already in the game. There's really nobody else to put there uh, that's going to be really uh, beneficial. So I like to put Sam Barrington there. 
Um, and then at my second string middle linebacker, again, that guy is on your special teams. So I'll put Nick Perry in at second string middle linebacker. And then, um, of course, we want to look at hit power for the next rating. Uh, basically, the hit power is just for backups on the special teams unit. So we're going to put in Brad Jones, and we're going to put in uh, Jamari Lattimore, two highest hit powers. So you see how that works right there. Uh, our right outside linebacker, this is the linebacker that's on the left side of the screen. He's going to be your middle linebacker. Basically, he's going to serve as your middle linebacker for your defense. This is where I like to put A.J. Hawk, my best zone covering guy. You see he's got the, let's compare him really quickly to Brad Jones. You see he's got better speed, better strength, uh, a little bit better acceleration. Take a look at his catching. It's about even. These guys are really pretty much the same player, but a little better tackling for Jones, but Hawk has a little bit of hit, better hit power, a little bit better pass rushing ability if I decide to. Exactly identical block shed. Good pursuit on both. You see that Hawk has a little better play recognition, a little better coverage. Uh, so that's why I decided to go with Hawk here. And again, the same uh, thought process. We're going to put in Sam Barrington with that 87 hit power at right outside linebacker. And then we're going to put in uh, a Brad Jones to back up him in the special teams game. For my corners, what I like to do is I like to put uh, the corners where they are ordered. The first corner is always going to be on the right side, and the second corner is always going to be on the left side. So again, I like to structure this based on my strengths and weaknesses of my formation. I want my weakest players on the strong side, my strongest players on the weak side. So the second string corner, I'm going to put my weakest corner that I want to play. So, for example, with the Green Bay Packers, Traymond Williams and Casey Hayward. I like to put in Casey Hayward at the number one corner and Traymond Williams at the number two corner because Traymond Williams has less strength and he also has less block shed and tackling. You see the tackling is much less and the block shed is much less than Hayward. So do you see how that works? Hopefully you do. Um, and then what I like to do is I like to put in, again, the third and fourth corner are guys on your special teams. So I like to substitute in Madden Jim guys. Uh, so for this example, we're going to be putting in uh, MD Jennings, and we're also going to put in uh, Chris Banjo at the third and fourth. And then at the fifth string cornerback slot, I like to put in a guy that has really good press rating uh, for my quarter defense. If I ever want to go to a quarter defense, uh, I can have access to a guy, and I want to just check the press ratings. And so you see a guy here, uh, Devon House, with that 86 press, really effective, so we'll put him in the game. Next, with the free safety, this is uh, kind of, he's also on the, the, the free safety actually is the, kind of the MVP of the defense, if I remember correctly. Uh, I think, I want to say that the free safety is actually on the right side. I may be wrong on this, but if he's on the left, you want to put uh, your, but the left side free safety is your user player, unless you want to use with the middle linebacker. And so uh, I like to put in a guy like Sam Shields here. Uh, this guy is going to be really good in terms of speed and user ability. But if you want to go with a more traditional, you could put in a guy like Chris Banjo. Uh, but I like to put uh, for your free safety your second best hit power as your second string um, strong safety, or excuse me, your second string free safety because he's going to be on special teams as well. So we like to put in Sean Richardson with that 88 speed, 72 strength kind of situation there. And then at strong safety, uh, we're going to be putting in uh, Morgan Burnett at the second string strong safety. But for purposes of scheme, we're actually going to put Sean Morgan Burnett here uh, because we need him at the first string song safety slot. So it all works out to put Sean Richardson at the second string song strong safety spot. But it's all the same concepts and stuff like that. But uh, anyways, make sure that this depth chart works for you. I'm pretty sure that it does. Uh, but that's how I would set up a depth chart for the Nickel Strong defense out of the Green Bay Packers uh, team breakdown. So thanks for your time today. If this video, if you found this video beneficial, uh, let me know. If you found some ways that I could improve this video, uh, let me know that as well. And uh, in the comments below, uh, what is your, who is your favorite player on the Green Bay Packers and why? Thanks for your time today, guys.